Hi everyone, my name is Joseph Koenskin. Welcome back to my studio. What I want to show you today is a painting that I've been working on for about a week or so now. It's of a white-throated sparrow sitting on some branches with some red and green and pinkish colored leaves. And so the only thing I have left to do now is the sparrow. And so I'm going to show you that today in a time lapse. And the reason it's going to be a time lapse is because it'll probably take me most of the day to do. But while the time lapse is going, I'll describe uh, the techniques that I use and some of the colors that I use and the process that I go about uh, to paint this bird. So in an effort to keep this video a bit shorter, I'm just going to dive right in and start painting. So the first thing I'm going to do when I start is I just want to block in all the colors uh, of the bird and in all the different parts. And most of these are just going to be a gray uh, with some raw umber mixed in. And what I'm doing is just blocking in all the mid-range tones of each one of these colors just to kind of establish where all the different parts of the bird are going to be. And the reason I want to do the mid-range tones is because I like to build up uh, the colors on either side of the mid-range tone, the highlights and the shadows, once I start to add detail. So then I'll start on the head, just building up those details and really trying to, to get that feather structure just right so that it looks three-dimensional and that it has a really lifelike feel. And once I've put in all those feather structures, I'm going to start adding some deeper shadows and some brighter highlights. And so I'll go in and I'll start adding some of the darker uh, colors for the stripes on the side of the head and on the top and emphasizing the contrast of where those feathers are breaking and the structure of all those different feathers that are on the side of the face. So then once I feel like I have a good place for everything and, and the bird has a good feel, I'll start adding some highlights, especially on the side of the face and on the crown where the white parts are and on the throat. And it's really going to start to to bring out that contrast and build the, the, the realism of the bird up. And once I add that cadmium yellow for the spot on the top of the head, it really just uh, adds that nice extra dynamic um, to the bird, that bright pop of color. And then once I paint in the eye and deepen the shadows and paint that little highlight that's just on the, on the eye, it seems to really, really come to life. And then when I move on to the rest of the bird, it's going to be very similar to what I did before, where I'm building up the highlights and the shadows on either side of those mid-range tones and deepen deepening some of the saturation on those colors and deepening some of the shadows. And what I want to try and do is, is maintain that three-dimensional shape uh, with the bird and follow the contours of those feathers and follow the shapes of those feathers and the way they're falling and the way they break um, with depending on how the bird is sitting. And so when I move on to the body, this is going to be very important here where I'm trying to be very intentional with each one of my brush strokes, trying to maintain that shape and really follow the patterns of the feathers and you know the breaks in the feathers where there's some shadows and where there's some dark spots and you'll see that when I paint these shadows in they're going they're not going to be completely dark they're going to be very subtle compared to the rest of the colors on the bird because I don't want to get too carried away with the shadows on the bird's body sometimes when birds have these gray bellies the the highlights and the shadows are very subtle and so I don't want to be too harsh with those. I want it to be very light and very subtle so that it has that realistic feel to it and that realistic quality. And it'll really be emphasized once I add the brightest highlights. All this work underneath is going to really show up um, when I add those bright highlights where all these shadow parts that I put in before are really going to be emphasized and it's going to really show. So now I'm starting to put on the highlights of the bird and this is going to also emphasize the direction of light which is coming from the top because this is an overcast day and these highlights where these birds are I'm following those same feather patterns and those same contours trying to make it look three-dimensional and make it look round and once I do that all those shadow parts really stand out and really show the shape of the body and the shape of the feathers and the way the feathers are landing and so it's really important to be intentional with those uh, brush strokes of where the feathers are and the shape of all the feathers that land in different places on the bird. So once I've finished that, I'm going to 
add just a few more shadows and a few more details and I'm gonna move down to the tail where I just want to add some dark shadow color I don't want it to be too t detailed I just want it to be kind of in the background and the same with the feet the feet are just gonna be you know more of a, of a of an impression of of the colors and the shadows nothing too detailed I don't want to get too heavy-handed with the detail on the feet just keeping a good impression of, of what's there with light and shadow and then I'm just gonna finish by cleaning everything up adding a few more shadows in different spots you know correcting a few mistakes that I didn't really like after standing back and then the final step which I really like the most is I'm gonna add some of these pink colors and pink tones to the underside of the bird that are going to be reflected up from the leaves and this just really helps put the bird into the scene. This painting really turned out great once that bird was painted in there. I'm so happy with the way it looks. These really soft colors and bright leaves with the sparrow just it brings the whole painting together and I really love painting these small songbird paintings like this uh, when I was younger I did a lot of uh, pieces of art just like this because I would see so many songbirds in the backyard and so I just love doing these little paintings like that and so if you have any questions about uh, any of the techniques that I did today or any of the colors that I've used or anything that I did with this painting today, just leave your questions in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching.